Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Clayton Art Club drawing lesson. Um, I hope you're doing well. I'm uh, down here. We're looking down at the moment. Um, I'll just get everything. There we are. It's me. It's like a mirror, isn't it? It doesn't really work. <laughs> yeah, so um, welcome to the stream. Feel free to say hello in the comments. Um, ask any questions. Request anything if you want me to draw specific things. Um, I think the theme today I put down was monsters. So if you've got a favourite monster, something, uh, something that you're afraid of or that you want to put on, that you want me to draw, then um, feel free to request that. Um, I was thinking uh, after um, a chat with someone who was watching last time of doing a quick game of Pictionary to warm up at the beginning. So if I draw something and you have to guess what it is in the comments just to get everyone warmed up, to get me warmed up as well. Um, but yeah, if you start thinking also um, if someone in the comments could just tell me if the sound is coming through okay and if the if it if it if it's in focus and everything I mean it looks fine to me um, but yeah let's uh, yeah coming through isn't it okay so I will start by I've got a little book of monsters here which I've used before. We used to play a game where you'd pick a, pick a number and I'd have to draw. So if I find something, so if I find something, let's just have a little think. So uh, I'm going to start with a head. Oh, sorry. Got some comments coming through. That's cool. Who have we got? We've got Matthew. Hi, it's fine. Oh, brilliant. And uh, Kizzy. Hi Kizzy, welcome. Um, so that's just a, a comment saying that the sound is fine and it looks okay, that's good. And a nice hello. Thanks guys. So we're just starting off with a little game of Pictionary where you've got to guess uh, which mythical monster this one might be. And Nick saying hello as well. Hi, Nick. Nice to see you guys. Going for the mouth first, I think. Sorry if I'm covering it up a bit. Just drawing it a bit small as well. So 
So do you think anyone can guess what I'm drawing? a big giveaway that I'm trying to skirt around at the moment to see if you guys can guess. No, it's not me. Someone's just guessed it's me. <laughs> Cheeky boy. So I often start with a circle. <laughs> Matthew's dad in the morning. It looks like Matthew's dad in the morning. Probably looks like me in the morning to be fair when I don't want to get up. Monsters Incorporated. Maybe. It's supposed to be some kind of mythical creature. Just don't want to give it away straight away. I mean, I know exactly how to, exactly how to. This would probably give it away right away. Hey, someone's got it. He's got it. Yep, it's the Cyclops. Well done. Well done, Kizzy. Well done. So while I'm just finishing off this uh, little Cyclops sketch, if you can think up any monsters that you would like me to draw, give me a challenge, give me something that you find helpful or that you've always wanted to draw um, doesn't have to be a monster it just could be a mythical creature it could be something um, um, but if you have any requests um, anything you've always wanted to be able to draw but couldn't quite work it out or it always came out wrong we can uh, work it out together um, and as well if at the end of the stream you want to share um, what you've drawn if you're drawing alongside me then feel free to share that um, and I'll only say nice things but if you wanted to share that privately if you didn't want to share it in front of people um, you don't have to share it on the group if you don't want to you can share it privately with me if you want and if you don't want to then I'm just drawing with a nice 2B pencil which is <coughs> slightly softer than a regular pencil um, but not too soft it's still quite hard so the computer's whirring I don't know why but it is looking at my own fist here just to work out I want his hand to be like he's just gonna thump someone
let's just get that tongue in there. So, have we got any requests? Let's just check the YouTube comments. No? Okay. Might zoom in a bit so you can see a bit. Oh, wrong way. Still in focus? Yeah, look, still in focus. Just checking that the stream is coming through still. Still coming through. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's still coming through. Is it coming through for you guys? I hope it is. So let's get the old brush pen out. Oh, this looks like a challenge. I've never heard of this before. What about a Sky Corvax? Probably pronouncing that wrong. Look that up. Um, I will have a look. I will look that up in a few seconds. I'll just quickly finish this one off. You know me, Matthew. I'm always up for a challenge. Is that a kind of dragon or is it something else? Is it something else? It's a bit glitchy for me now. I'll leave and rejoin. Okay. Um, oh yeah, look, it's gone glitchy for me as well. What is going on? Is it glitchy for everyone? So this brush pen is a bit like a cross between a brush and a pen. Um, I've used it before. Um, kind of like very light and the harder you press the wider your um, it's not oh okay so it's not glitchy Matthew that's good So what I'm doing here is I'm letting my hand have a little bit of shake here and there.
I think that's looking all right. And for this one, I'm just going to do a bit of shading instead of um, using the alcohol markers. I'll get onto the alcohol markers in a minute. Um, I've got to look up what a score it is. It's is it glitchy for you? Is that what you're so? Um, Kizzy's just said it is, so I'm assuming that means it's glitchy, or it, so I don't know. Oh, it looks good. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm just bringing up the comments. Yeah, you mean it's looking good, thank you. Um, okay, just bear with me a moment. So I'm basically shading, but I'm pressing lighter each time. And then when I want a darker bit, I'm just pressing a bit harder. Um, and if you really want to, I'm going to press really hard here. And this is all with just a 2B pencil. I do have a few more. Um, And what I'm going to do is my secret trick is I'm going to use my finger, just go over the top, <clears throat> and then just re-darken. And because it's so soft, your finger just smudges it and it actually makes it look very organic. And it just takes away from the, uh, the white of the background, really. And sometimes even just a light smudge. Oh, listen to my voice. Sound like I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> even just the light um, shade can make it pop from the uh, from the paper a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Right. Um, let me look up what you said, Matthew. Um, which is a. I can't even spell it. I'm going to have to look at the comments. Can't even see the previous comments. Give me a second. It's what did you say you wanted to see? Was it a score vax or something? Could you respell it for me? Because I can't find that previous comment for some reason. Oh no, here we go. S Y C O R. I've never heard of this. I can't even guess what it is. I imagine it's some kind of dragon or or dinosaur, but I don't know. S Y C O R A X. Is it a kind of mythical creature of some kind? Oh, it's from uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who baddie, is it? Is that right? Oh, he's ugly. Oh, he's the one that chops Doctor Who's hand off, if I believe.
like kind of got like a bone face. I'm guessing that's the one you want, Matthew. Right. <clears throat> So I'm going to start with the overall shape. So when you're drawing um, a face or a body, you will often try and get the, the face shape right first. So I'm just doing that for the inline of the jaw. He's quite a, a slender kind of face. Um, quite spooky looking really and I'm not worrying too much about my pencil lines because one I can smudge them out and two I can um, the kind of construction lines for when I go over and in ink and stuff so <clears throat> so that's the top where his nose would be here and he's kind of got a weird kind of skull kind of face. So just going to start with where the eye line would be and do a kind of cross shape. He's got like a mouth inside. Got like a bone on the outside. It's kind of bizarre. There's a really cool, um, in the recent Doctor Who, there's a person called Swarm and Azur maybe, I think it's called Azur and um, oh what's going on here, is it working? I'm just drawing the shape and then that would go up behind there there's a weird bone features right, let's see if this is I hope this is the one you mean, Matthew, because otherwise I'm just drawing a Doctor Who villain and you're like, no, I meant something else. Alright, my screen's gone a bit weird. I'm monitoring the screen on a computer up there and I cannot tell if the comments are coming through or anything because it just keeps glitching out a little bit which is very irritating. Dad, Dad. No good, no good. I'm doing a live stream at the moment. Can you go downstairs? Yeah, it's not it's not beef. Oh, is it? No. All right. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Yeah. All right, thank you. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hi. <laughs> but, uh, So is everyone still here? I hope you guys are still enjoying the stream and it's still coming through. It is 
gone a bit glitchy for me on my computer screen, but it does say on my streaming device that I haven't had any drops, so I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, still glitchy here, but is my phone okay? Definitely one of the more ugly Doctor Who villains, but a very kind of cool design. And see if I can get my reference picture a bit bigger. Just going around, just building it up basically. So you kind of plot roughly where your face would be, and then you kind of plot where you'd want all those features. Oh, come on. jump onto the pen I think. This one quite cartoony. Well not cartoony but quite bold I think. Make them a bit more What do you think, Matthew? So far. It'd be quite painful to have your skull on the outside of your face, but I guess. I guess these guys just. Some scary monsters are just born with an ugly face. <laughs> so I'm doing quite sweeping inks at the moment.
So I'm really trying to capture the kind of boniness of this. Just looking at this mask and this uh, costume makes me want to go and make stuff and remember my uh, animatronic days when we used to make this kind of stuff. Um, for one of my projects we made this uh, for my final year project at university we I made an autopsy and um, like an autopsy of a dead body basically that kind of came back alive and inside it I'd made this rib cage and when I'm looking at this kind of bone structure it's kind of making me think of that because when you put fiberglass um, it can it can dry very much like this so it's quite cool so I think when I put colours on this it'll look a bit a bit better but I kind of want to capture that kind of these kind of bits are kind of fleshy and it's I mean it's a bit it's a bit um it's not quite as refined it is on a cartoony level but I think with a bit of colour I think this will look a bit good. And if it doesn't then uh, at least we've learnt something. I'm kind of happy with the overall proportions of it. So I'm going to start with very light pink. So I'm using my alcohol markers. Um, back to clear audio now. So I think Nick was having some audio problems maybe. I'm glad you got audio back. So I'm going to start with quite a light pink and then probably increase the colour. Just being quite careful while I'm kind of still waiting for the ink to dry so that it doesn't mix too much with this. Um, But yeah, you can see here it's smudging a little bit. But that's okay because actually looking at the reference image, it is a bit like that anyway. And as you can see as well, those pencil lines that we drew originally, you can't even see that we started with. So, I mean, that looks mucky, doesn't it? Which is annoying. I think I'll try and use a different brush next time that dries just a bit quicker, you know the brush pen? Because I don't like it the way it's, as you can see here, it's contaminating the end of my pen and giving me colours that I don't really want. But that's okay. Alright, let's grab a darker one. And I'm going to come back over this with a light white in a minute to bring back some of the highlights and to kind of really um, emphasize the, the reflectiveness of him. I'm aware this looks quite washed out on my screen so I'll just turn the light down a smidge. And I want to go back to an even lighter pink. Except that isn't that much lighter. What happened to that light pink? And just see if I can get the colours to blend a bit. Definitely chosen a good one for a challenge today, Matthew. Um, so I'm going to grab some of these for the uh, bone kind of colour. Uh, I'm going to grab this, which is a very cool grey. 
and I think a very pale yellow might not go amiss. Dip green, I don't know. Yeah, warm grey. So let's start with the lighter colours. And then I can like add a wash of yellow to it. So this looks quite dark at the moment, but it will dry in a lighter shade, hopefully. So it is still mixing with the pen, which is annoying. I'm just going over the darker areas. And I want a really dark bit for the lips. Especially in the areas with a shadow. Kind of spooky, isn't it? And then I just want a little bit of yellow here and there. And I want a little bit of yellow on the eyes, but I'm going to bring back the white in that in a moment. And this really light yellow. I use to try and blend this a little bit. Don't want to overdo the yellow, but I kind of think I already have. But that's okay. Is it still working? And then I'm going to come back to my warm grey, which is. I really want to work this into the colours to really, like the grey will hopefully break down those yellows and make them look a bit more kind of like bony hopefully, but it is mixing with the ink of my lines which is annoying so I shouldn't have used this pen really, which is uh, my mistake, but never mind, it still looks good. And also these do dry lighter than they first appear, so you can sometimes think, oh I've made it way too dark, and then you eventually you start coming back.
how are we doing? Is everyone still here? Very spooky, yeah. I thought that. <laughs> and he, um, he has like a black colour. Which is disgusting, it looks like. And he has horrible red eyes as well, so. Doing a bit of that. Let's add a little bit of yellow to the teeth. Ugh. Ugly chap. But I guess with Doctor Who, don't judge a villain by his looks, but by his actions. like Thanos if he was a heavy drinker <laughs> yeah <laughs> it could be like zombie Thanos or something so what I've done so I've got my kind of main inks I might come back with a bit more in a minute what I'm gonna do now is gonna jump onto my white pen um, and I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to thin some of those big black lines that I drew originally. And this is just like a white, it's a bit like a Tipex pen, but it's not a Tipex pen. It's like a white gel pen. And you can just really add in highlights, especially on the eyes. So if I put a little dot in each eye suddenly he, he'll start looking really spooky and you can put a little bit you can also put a little bit around the edge and then smudge it with your finger and then you can start like reclaiming the detail And like I guess at the end if you went back and you looked at the moment before I started putting the highlights on to putting the highlights on and even the white here is making it look a bit grey. But this is where you add the reflections, the lights, the shining and actually if the light's coming from this direction um, Right on this side. So Matthew, have you been watching old Doctor Who episodes or have you just been looking up cool villains from it or something or what made you choose to uh, choose this uh, handsome young man? Just thought he looked cool. And 
And as you can see, the mouth that looked all kind of red and kind of overdosed with red, if you know what I mean, now looks kind of a lot brighter. It's looking very pink as well, which is... Oh, you've got a Doctor Who book. Oh, that's cool. That's a, that's a good source of uh, cool creatures to draw, definitely, for sure. Are you going to have a go at drawing either this one or someone else and uh, showing me? Because I'd love to see your drawings. I bet they're really good. Um, I enjoyed seeing them the other day. Well, it's quite a while ago now, wasn't it? A couple of months ago I think you showed me some of your artwork and it was really cool. How's this looking? You think it's getting there? You can use it on your black lines now that they're dry and just really thin them. So you can really get You can even reshape them, you can get rid of areas where there's a bit of a wobble, especially on the lighter side. You can really neaten things up. You can add little reflections into dark areas to really refine where stuff is. So yeah, I think a white pen is a is a good investment for your your artwork if you're doing if you're doing art like this having a little white pen is quite handy really but you know it might not be the first thing you get but if you're building up a little thing of equipment a white pen is definitely uh, one that I didn't know I needed until I got one and then I was like oh I'm using this all the time now. I think I got it one time when I was running an art club and I was um, doing the black and white one where I had black paper and we were drawing like skylines or something with the, the white pen and stuff like that. And yeah, I don't know. Just. I just think it adds so much that you wouldn't normally be able to do if you was just trying to deliberately include them and I think it adds a lot of interest because you know you can just add a few dots and it makes something that looks completely black suddenly look a bit dirty and a bit mucky and a bit like weathered and a bit like I don't know I think it just adds a lot so So I'm trying to smudge it where I don't want full on white, but I just want a bit of lighter. And if you smudge it with your finger just quickly after you've drawn it, um, I think it helps a lot. A bit under the eyes, smudge it. Oh, got some nice comments from here. So Matthew says he's got a Doctor Who book and Nick says it looks great and then earlier Kizzy said that it looks like Thanos if he was a heavy drinker <laughs> how are we doing for time we've got five minutes left Ah. Oh. I could easily spend more time on this and you can even come back with your black afterwards if you've done too much too much white or anything or if you want to make those pupils a bit bigger
there's a definite glare to him, isn't there? Especially when you put those white dots in the eye. His eyes look really good actually. Add a bit more to the teeth. Matthew, did you see the Dalek I drew a couple of... I can't remember if I did it. I think I did a digital one. I'll just, I'll just get it for you. Um, if you're into Doctor Who at the moment, I think you'll like this one. This is a Doctor Who digital one that I did recently. I think I shared it on Clayton Art Club, I should have done. But you see how, even when you're drawing digitally, using an iPhone and stuff, um, I start with the the pencil lines again I mean it's a bit different when you join digital because you get solid color all the time but um, the same principle applies and I will be start doing digital art again on this but um, let me just press play again um, <clears throat> so you can see I start with like rough drawing and then I turn that to transparent and then over the top I draw it a bit neater, fill it in with colour, add shade again, and then at the end add a few colours. And I didn't do many highlights on this one, I should have done a few more highlights. If I was drawing this again, I'd add a load more highlights. But you can see you can see how the same principle applies to when you're doing it on a digital format, like on an iPad. So um, if you want next week I can do digital drawing um, if you like it oh, we've got some lovely comments now <laughs> as well uh, that looks it looks great whoa and I love it which is cool I do like Doctor Who I think they do some really creative villains and scenarios and twists and nice compact little stories sometimes right I really running to time today we could color in this guy quickly if you want so let's do that so I'm thinking a bit of red going on so I'm gonna start with the outside. Next week could you do Captain Underpants and the Talking Toilet? Um, yeah, I don't know what that is but I'll have to look it up but um, yeah, well, I'm happy to do that definitely for sure. Um, are you go would you guys like to see some more of the digital style drawing or are you happy with the alcohol markers style? Um, it's completely up to you. Um, also, um, we've got our woodwork session starting this afternoon and there's one on Tuesday as well. So we're making Harry Potter ones or if you're not into Harry Potter, probably making wooden drumsticks I guess um, with the, the wood turning laves I know it's fully booked at the moment but there was possibly another space coming up on the Tuesday I think but um, I'll be sorting that out later so but yeah I'm happy to do uh, Captain Underpants next week if that's that's something that you want. So as you can see I'm keeping the dark red on this side. I 
and I'm using a colour called Quince, which I guess is a kind of orange. And actually with the pencil shading that I did underneath, that's actually come out quite nice. And then I'm going to get a really light yellow, which isn't light now. But over the top of pencil, it does look a bit And then I'm going to make that ear dark red, really dark red. Almost done, honest. <clears throat> going to come back over the white again. my finger just to smudge <coughs> there we go make the teeth a bit square I think I'm glitching again sorry brilliant join see you at the workshop later okay thank you so much Nick thank you Matthew um, I don't know why it's glitching I hope it's not at my end, but you never know. Almost there. And uh, I'm just smudging that so it doesn't look super bright white, because that would look a bit unnatural. Bit of reflection on his nose. Who, who would win in a fight between a heavy drinker Thanos and a Cyclops? Um, I guess Thanos is pretty badass. He'd probably have his sword with him, but then a Cyclops could probably outstare him. Um, and a Cyclops would probably. I don't know. I think Thanos would. It would be a good fight. I think Thanos would uh, take a lot of punches. I think, unfortunately, I think Thanos would win, but I think a Cyclops might just. Give him a good beating. I thought it was un unfortunate that Hulk didn't give him the uh, Loki treatment of throwing him about. Because that was a very entertaining part of Endgame. Thanos could just blip. Flicky flicky. <laughs> yeah, so that's it with a little bit of um, a little bit of highlighting. Which I think kind of brings it out a little bit. Anyway, I am going to call it a day now guys so um yeah thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you this afternoon if you're joining us for the monday group for um wand making 
and Tuesday if you're coming on Tuesday and um, maybe in the future if you come to one of the other art clubs. Feel free to share your art. Feel free to um, tell me what you thought of the session, any requests, stuff like that. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next week.